Hey, Tony Gaskins, Car Chronicles. Hey, it's it's 8.30 a.m. I'm up working for you. Now, I'm in the back of my Tahoe, and so y'all got to forgive this junk. This all my soccer chairs. My son warming up. They're getting ready to play. But I want to answer this question today, and that is, does he regret losing me? And I get this question all the time. Now, it's I'm going to answer this question, but first I want you to ask yourself in your life, why do I continue to ask questions that should not matter? Because if you're asking this question, that means you're looking backwards instead of looking forward, that you are worrying about and focusing on your past and what he's doing instead of what you should be doing and who you are preparing to attract in your life. So essentially, you're worrying about the wrong thing. Now, to answer your question, this is what you have to understand. 90% of the time, 90% of the time, the answer to this question is no. And the reason why, and I know that's hard to hear. I know it's hard to hear. The reason why 90%, now understand, we got 7 billion people in the world. So that means 10% is 700 million. So that 10% is a large number. But 90% of the time, the answer is no. And the reason why is because a grown man with a mind understands that he has a woman who is a good woman. And if he sabotages the relationship, meaning he cheats on you or he makes you leave him, or he leaves you, that means he did not respect and appreciate you. He did not respect and appreciate you, so therefore he will not regret losing you because he didn't want you to begin with. Now, here's what you have to understand, is that in this space, the question comes, well, will he? ever regret it? Will he ever feel sorry for what he did to me or for losing me? And that answer can be yes, but here's how. The only way a man will ever regret losing you is if you grow and you change. So if he goes, what happens is he moves on in his life. And if he doesn't grow, and if he doesn't mature, and if he doesn't change and attract a good woman and then love and respect and appreciate and treat that good woman with respect, if he doesn't grow and change, then, then he's going to lose every woman. He's going to sabotage every relationship. And then he does what I call the black book syndrome. He goes back to his black book, which, of course, is our contacts are in our phone today. But he goes to the black book and he looks back and he says, OK, well, who can I go back to? And you may be the only one he reaches out to or you may be one of a few. Typically, if you were the last one he was with, then he will come back to you. And if he hasn't grown and changed then his hope is that you are still the same. His hope is that, not still the same, his hope is that you have lost some of your dignity, you've lost some of your self-respect, that now you're a little more desperate because you're still single and you didn't uh, get the Prince Charming you were hoping he would be for you. So now that you're still single, he hopes that you're going to be okay with settling for who he is. And so his hope is that he can come back and you can be the same. Now, if he tries to come back and he cannot reach you, you are unreachable because you have him blocked or because he texts you and you just don't respond or he sends a message to you on social media and you leave him on red or he tells someone to give you a message, a friend or a family member, and you tell that friend or family member, tell him you didn't get that 
you didn't get a response. Tell him I refuse to speak on him. And if you tell him anything other than that, you will be cut off too. And so when he gets that response back, oh, she, she didn't want to talk about you. She wouldn't even respond. That is the only time that he starts to regret losing you because now he it truly clicks to him. I lost a good woman. I lost a woman who loves and respects herself, who has dignity, self-respect, class, drive, ambition. That is who I lost. And then he starts to say, well, how am I going to get another good woman? I'm meeting all these women and everybody's naive and gullible and easy and I'm running all over them. And now here I had this woman who I could have built with and I could have grew into a better man, the man I'm supposed to be, and I ran her off. So now what am I supposed to do? And that's when he starts to regret. So you got to ask yourself, well, okay, well, is that the space I want him to be in? And if the answer is yes, the next question is, well, what do you, where do you want to go from there? And this is where it gets a little tricky. This is where it gets tricky. This is where you got to watch this video five, six times. It gets a little tricky here because what you have to do is you have to ask yourself, you got to be able to ask yourself, is this the man for me? Do I feel in my heart, truthfully, from a place of love, that this is my husband? Because I know I got a message in my heart that this is my husband, but he was going through a season in his life. He was going through spiritual warfare, but I know he is growing now. He is changing now. I've heard about it. I can see it. I can sense it. I kind of believe it. He's growing and he's changing. And I'm willing to take a chance. And I'm willing to risk being wrong, giving more time out of my life and it not working out. I'm willing to take that risk because I believe that firmly and that confidently that he is my husband. If that is your feeling, then that is the only time you should give a man another chance, whether it's the second chance, if it's the second chance. Now, if it's the third chance, not now you now you're going into being a fool. Not now you're lying to yourself if it's a third chance. If it's a second chance, I believe in second chances under certain circumstances where you weren't being beat on and you know just tore all out the frame. I believe in second chances under certain circumstances. I'm a second chance husband. My wife left me two months into dating because we had stuff going on, her ex-boyfriend, my ex-girlfriend. And then in marriage, when I went back to the streets, when I went back to the street life trying to be a goon, she left me for three days to send me a message and told me I will divorce you and I will be a single mother. So after that, I got my stuff together because I knew she wasn't going to play any games. But I don't teach that. I don't teach to do that because I know how much of an exception I am. I know that is not common. I know it doesn't happen like this all the time. So I don't teach you to drive 90 miles an hour into a tree and hope to live just because I did it. So understand that. On the other side, if you feel, no, that, that wasn't my husband. I know it wasn't my husband. I was addicted. I was addicted to the vitamin D. I was addicted to the drama, to the pain, his swag. I was addicted to the money or the look or the attention we got on Facebook or when we stepped out. But I know that's not my husband. If that is the answer, then leave him in that state of regret because he can't reach you and move on with your life. Move on with your life and keep going. Because truthfully, he doesn't really deserve you 
unless he's an exception to the rule, unless you see he's been changed inside and out, truthfully, he doesn't really deserve you because he didn't start to appreciate you until he could no longer get you. And that's when the, the trick comes in because he then could be operating from ego and not from love. And that's a whole nother video. But hey, I got to run to my soccer, son's soccer game. We always have an hour before the game, so I try to shoot me a video, make use of the time to just sit in this cold or the heat, but it's cold today. But God bless y'all, and we'll talk soon.